My name is Jane Shrivastava and I'm the Flow Cytometry Core Director. I was living in London for a long time with my family and we decided to make a change, just a, a lot of reasons uh, that we wanted to move on out of there and I wanted to be closer to New Zealand where I'm originally from. I, um, I didn't want to be in New Zealand because there's not many uh, jobs in science. Uh, my husband loves America, has been here many times for work and he showed me the job at Gladstone and talked to me a lot about how great the Bay Area was. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go and apply, and here I am. Yes, I, I loved science as a child. Nobody else in my family works in science, but I've always loved it. And what I uh, would do would be to go to the library when I got a chance and scour the shelves for good science books. And I particularly loved astronomy, and I used to do these little, uh, these little projects uh, about astronomy on my own, and my sister would always call me a nerd, but I always loved to do them, so I, I did love science. One research project we have going on at the moment is with the stem cell core. So what we are looking at doing is looking at a particular type of stem cell and that would be uh, human induced pluripotent stem cells. And on the surface of their, uh, on the surface of these cells are a, partic a particular set of markers. And what we're doing is we're tagging these markers with fluorescent antibodies and trying to pick them up with a flow cytometer. So we're combining a whole lot of of these antibodies that haven't been put together before and seeing if we can pick these up and we eventually hope to turn that into a quality control test with the stem cell core and um, also to see if diseased cell lines have any differences in their surface markers. <laughs> This was definitely influenced by my mum. So my mum really wanted to be a scientist, but she never was able to go to university, just the opportunity was never there. So growing up, she could see that I was interested in it and she really supported and encouraged me to go. Uh, in my first year of my undergraduate studies, I was not, uh, not really sure if this is what I wanted to do, but I had a really great teacher who would come in and give us all sweets. So a class of like two or three hundred, he would give us all sweets and we'd eat them and think, what a great teacher. And then straight away he would put up images of tooth decay on the screen and we would all be going, oh, this is terrible. But then he'd talk about sort of the, the fundamentals behind decay and things like that. And I realised that uh, if, you're, if you've got a great teacher, that science is absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Uh, mainly spend time with my children, so I have two who are 14 and 8 and, and they require a lot of my time. I also love to exercise and I also love to listen to a lot of music, so anything from classical right through to heavy metal. The only thing I don't really like is country and western, but if you see me around Gladstone with my headphones in, just don't be surprised. <laughs> Um, this would definitely be Rosalind Franklin. I've, I've been really fascinated with her and her life. Uh, in London, when I was living there, I went to a play based on her life. And um, it had Nicole Kidman in it, and it was really amazing play. And it was just so tragic. She, she passed away at a really young age from cancer in her 30s. And she, you know, dedicated herself to science and worked in such a male-dominated industry at the time. And I would love to know her feelings about Watson and Crick and how they treated her and, and the fact that they broke into her office and stole the sort of crystallography image of DNA. I would love to know how, what she thought about them. Mm -hmm.